Okay. All righty. Guys, you know what time it is. It's Sam and Max. Guys and gals, I should say. Ladies and gents, you know how it is. Or even if it's just Dino Rex, boy. Doesn't, <laughs> doesn't really matter. We're playing Sam and Max. So it's been about, uh, I mean, according to YouTube, I think it was three weeks ago that I played this last so i think that's a long enough break wrong okay rib is here too exactly two people watching i think it's been about three weeks so we're overdue so i'm gonna hop back in the world of uh freelance policing let's see if i remember how this works Let's see what happens when I click this. And then I hop over here. Oh, that's not right. Hold on a second. You're seeing my entire desktop right now. I'm trying to capture just specifically this guy. I can't hear anything. I also can't see anything. Okay, well, this isn't working very well, is it? This literally was working. Oh, wait, I know why. It's because I have to be over here. That's why. Okay, hang on. Let's try again. I 
I will feast on your entrails and devour your soul. <laughs> Nomax sneaking the bug into that exorcism was an uncharacteristic stroke of genius. <laughs> <laughs> this is a gift that keeps on giving. What? Oh, Commissioner. It's a callback to three weeks ago. Yes, 14 packs a day. <laughs> yes? yes? No. Yes? Sweet suffering Saint Sebastian on the sousaphone in a short story by Susan Sontag. We're on our way. What? <laughs> yes. Our friendly neighborhood demon just burnt down another monastery. Nomax, we have a far more bloodthirsty adversary this time. The President of the United States of America. Who? The man's gone nuts. He's enacting all kinds of crazy new laws. What else is new? Federally mandated group hugs before, during, and after all major sporting events. So? He's curtailing civil liberties, threatening the environment. Hey, that makes three of us. And he's about to introduce mandatory gun registration. Get the keys. I've already had enough of this game. Folks, thanks for coming. It's been real. Abe Lincoln. I'm sorry, is he the current president of the United States in the Sam and Max timeline? I have to point out, Sam, that we could have avoided this gruesome accident if you just let me drive. And I have to point out that we could have avoided this gruesome accident if you hadn't jumped on my head shouting Jersey Devil, Jersey Devil and firing your gun out the window. I swear that woman was a dead ringer for him. Well, here we are, standing in an open field west of the White House. Let's go bring the hammer down on that so-called commander-in-chief. Okay, interesting. We're starting in new territory immediately. Okay, give me a mo. Hang on a mo, because there's something I actually did forget about up to this point, and that is this game doesn't launch in full screen, so you guys are seeing it fine, but I'm not. There we go. All right, okay, hang on. I'm going to turn this down a little bit. Leave the voice on max. That's good. Oh, this should be fine. All right. Been a while. Let's poke around the White House. Let's see what, uh... Please do not feed the submarine. What can you feed a submarine anyway? Nothing. Weren't you listening? <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Somehow the boxing gloves back here? In the last place you look. That's from the first episode. Why? What do we have to work with anyways? Okay, so we have the roach from episode three. We've got our gun, obviously. And now we have the boxing glove from episode one for some reason. Here's a periscope obviously attached to the submarine. The White House pool. Most secure waiting pool on Earth. And somehow Jimmy Two Teeth is here. I suppose we'll have a chat. Jimmy? Oh, great. What are you guys doing here? Oh, just saving the world. What are you doing here? I happen to take my vacations at the White House, and I need a little R&R. &R. Speaking of which, beat it. Okay, so I gotta put myself back in the Sam and Max headspace for the next few hours as we trudge through another one of these episodes. Uh, obviously, step one is to interact with absolutely everything. Leave no stone unturned. And I've got to think outside the box, which is very difficult, because you don't really think to think outside the box when all you know is a box. Valley parking, two dollars. Way to knock down that deficit. Whee! Suspect yourself. That's so Madonna. 
Remember last time that using a gun is bad? Well, using a gun in a casino is bad, but using a gun in the therapist's office to stage a shooting is good. So, it's contextual. Sometimes using the gun is okay. Hey, this phone only takes Susan B. Anthony dollars. It must be one of those stupid 555 phones. <laughs> yes, actually. 555-1984. Hey, Sam! Did I ever mention how I've memorized pi to 1,000 decimal places? It's 3.14159265358979. Do you have a piece of paper handy? You want to write down the phone number? I remember the number. I want to write myself a reminder to smother you with a pillow in your sleep. <laughs> okay. I, I missed the poster. I've already forgotten the poster. That's so Madonna. Okay, that's it. Post no bills. I'm surprised this sign survived the Clinton administration. So how old is this game? Who was serving in office when this came out? Bush? I think this is 2007, right? So, so Bush was in office when the game came out. Any golf balls? Nope. Okay, we'll remember to check back there later. Oh, here's the mailbox we knocked. There is a small mailbox here. Uh, it's one of those ornamental mailboxes that doesn't actually open. That's government efficiency for you. <laughs> Your name here. For naming rights to this building, please contact the Office of Desperation Accounting. Oh boy! Can we, Sam? Please? We'll see, little buddy. Hmm. White paint, Christmas lights, and a small barbecue. Everything somebody would need to renovate, decorate, and then accidentally burn the place to the ground. Later, Max. Later. <laughs> what, what, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. <laughs> what are you insinuating here? Dude, the font. <laughs> the font on the overhang. Okay, let's talk to this guy. Step aside, buddy. Freelance police. Just a moment, sir. Papa Bear, this is Super Bowl. Possible situation at the front door. Talking dog and der rabbit trying to gain access to the OO. Please advise over. Super Bowl? Yeah, that's a negative on the access permission, sir. I'll have to ask you and your little friend to step away from the White House. Doggy Daddy, this is Loose Cannon. Request permission to pants this goon. Over. Before we try physical violence, Max, <laughs> let's try dazzling the man with our razor sharp wit and labyrinthine logical conundrums. Ah, emotional violence. Good plan. Okay, this obviously isn't going to work, but let's entertain it. Let us in. Don't you get bored. Did you call yourself Superball? Did you call yourself Superball? Codename, sir. I'm a bouncer. Secret Service humor. And who's Papa Bear? Section Chief. Runs the operation. Protects the president. Oh, Superball. I get it. <laughs> I don't. Uh, uh, I want to talk to your manager. I want to talk to your manager. No can do, sir. He's with the president. Don't you get bored guarding this door? It's a rewarding job, sir. Doing my part. Keeping the president safe. Hey, Superball. I'd like you to smell these two handkerchiefs and tell me which one smells more like chloroform. <laughs> no, Max. <laughs> Is that all you do? Guard this door? That's my primary assignment, sir. I'm thinking of a number between 1 and 100. Try to guess it while I drop increasingly heavy weights near your head. What's your secondary assignment? <laughs> Varies. Receptionist, maintenance, light grounds work, public relations. Public relations? I'm a people person, sir. <laughs> they have you guys doing odd jobs too? Cutback, sir. Employee Reduction and Consolidation Act of 2003. These sunglasses aren't cheap. Hey, Superball! What gauge syringe would be best for injecting you with a knockout serum? Just a hypothetical. You really have time to do everything else and guard this door? I make the time, sir. It's what I do. Okay, impressive. Uh, okay, what else are we doing? What else do you do besides guard this door? So that's just going to loop us back into that conversation. So we'll threaten to let ourselves in, and then we'll just leave and find another way in, I suppose. Let us in, pal. We're freelance police. Here to save the president. I thought we were here to stop the president by any means necessary. I was going to wait to mention that part. <laughs> Either way, sir, you can't get inside. Orders. Seriously, Jack, let us in. It's a national emergency. No can do, sir. 
Hmm, it's going to be tougher than I thought to trick this goon and get inside. I heard that, sir. And it's going to be impossible. Hey, no <laughs> fair. You're not supposed to listen to casual asides. It's in the job description, sir. Report all stage whispers, soliloquies, and casual asides to the proper authorities. Curse them! They've thought of everything! Finest security force in the world, sir. I wonder why that eliminated that conversation line, if it didn't eliminate this one. I've had enough of this. Don't overthink Papa it. Papa Bear, this is Super Bowl. Perps exiting zone four now. Seem disgruntled. Stay on the lookout. Over. Now can we push him down and beat him with sewage-filled garbage bags until he runs crying into the reflecting pool? Tempting, Max. But these Secret Service guys hold a grudge. Okay. It's fine. We already knew that wasn't going to happen. So can I just leave? Is this a self-contained intro going, to the episode? It's not. We can go back to the office. Back to the office. I'll drive! Not while I'm alive. Exactly! And that's just it. We're back to our street. I was expecting a cutscene or something. Okay, we'll just poke around then. We'll see what Sybil's up to. We'll see if Bosco's got something for us. Tampering with the mail is a federal offense, punishable by fine and imprisonment. As we found out after the incident with the garden hose. Ah, memories. Is that new? Was the mailbox always interactable? Because that might be relevant to this episode specifically. Dating service? We're playing Cupid now. Is that what we're doing? I can't even remember. What were we last time? Was it the uh, paranormal investigation tabloid writer? I think so. Hey, Sybil. What's new in the world of frequent random career reassessment? Hi, fellas. I'm really excited. I found the perfect job for me. You don't say. That's right. I, Sybil Pandemic, am now a professional matchmaker. I thought I smelled phosphorus. I thought I smelled that joke coming down the turnpike, burning oil and dragging its muffler. It's a dating service, Max. I figured that if a smart, successful career woman like me could be having so much trouble finding a date, there must be plenty of other people who could use help. So as usual, the correlation between <laughs> whatever Sybil's up to and whatever our main objective is is not going to be apparent for at least two hours. <laughs> But we might as well have the conversation now since we're here. You're having trouble finding your soulmate? You don't know the half of it. It seems like all the guys I meet are total losers. No offense. None taken. Hey! Or else they're borderline <laughs> psychopaths. No offense. Dude. None taken. It's the borderline cases you have to watch out for. The, <laughs> the, the humor in this game, I don't know. I don't want to call it like unique. Because, like, of course there's lots of different shows and games that have this humor. But I don't know, there's just something about it that just, it just, when it hits, it hits. It's just the simplest, stupidest jokes. And a lot of it's just wordplay. Some of it's just like comedic timing, too, but I don't know, it's unique. Unfortunately, there's an entire half to the humor of this game that's really, like, overbearing. With just, like, exceptionally, like, verbose dialogue or obscure references that haven't probably were outdated when they were made but are even worse now what kind of man are you looking for older men guys with a little history to them are such a turn on oh and tall men and distinguished and he should be experienced all right enough already yes i will go out with you <laughs> i thought she was talking about me okay yeah that's obviously relevant at some point. Could you find dates for Max and me? Seriously? I mean, sure. Why not? Stranger things have happened. I guess. They must have. Somewhere. I'm choosing not to be offended by that. What item do we not have to do this? Just submit an application. There you go. I was gonna say, we obviously can't do this yet. We're gonna need something. What's next on the career horizon? Next? This is it. What could be a better job than helping people find their perfect match? Volcano God. Good point. I'll stick to the dating business, though. How many couples have you managed to escort to romantic bliss? So far, none. None is the loneliest member. 
but I've got a feeling things will start to pick up after the holidays. All that stress makes for a lot of messy breakups and a lot of people looking for romance on the rebound. What holiday? So we have something to look forward to. 420? Is that the, <laughs> is that the holiday that results in messy breakups? How's business? Slow right now, but those applications are going to start coming in at any moment. See you around, Sybil. Do you guys want to submit an application for my dating service? That depends. How extensive are your background checks? Some other time, <laughs> Max. Okay, all right, so not relevant yet. Fair enough. It's getting very cluttered in this office. There's the tabloid pages from the last profession. Okay, that's it for now. Lefties is still out of commission. I think the posters are changing, but they've never been relevant before. I don't know why they would be now. Oh, I'm sorry, what? Oh, what the heck was your name again? Hugh Bliss. Whoa, look, Max. It's our favorite cultish crackpot, Hugh Bliss. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. I want to buy something. Take my credit card. Put me on your mailing list. Anyone you want me to recruit? You're supposed to give the Stockholm Syndrome a few days to kick in. <laughs> Who has that kind of time? Wait, how much time has passed since we last saw him? Or, or is, it, is it implied that this is all happening like the next day, the next day? I guess so. It is one overarching story. That makes sense. Yeah, so part two of the Sam and Max streams that I did has, I think, eight views on YouTube. So <laughs> that's, th that's the one that... Uh, I expect the fewest amount of people have seen. I'm pretty sure, Ribby, you were the only one here for that. At least the only one that was in the chat while I was streaming it. It was before I streamed Bendy, that's why. So you guys probably don't know who Hugh Bliss is. Dino Rex Boy or anyone else lurking that's new. I'm trying to remember, what was he able to do? He can change his skin color. What else was it? Can he read minds? I'm trying to remember what Hugh Bliss, like, did. He wrote a book that it was like a self-help book, and he can change co the color of his skin. Oh, and he can read minds. Okay, all right, so that was it. I mean, that's arguably... I don't know. To me, changing the color of your skin is, like, more impressive than reading minds. Because that's what stuck out to me about him. Okay, anyways, what the heck are you doing here? What's a big celebrity like you doing on our street, Hugh Bliss? Why, I'm spreading the great news about prismatology! Yeah, that's his books. The science of unlocking the harmony of colors for a revolution in holistic personal and interpersonal well-being? Now translated into 15,000 different languages, including Esperanto. <laughs> Hooray! Hooray! What is Esperanto? Is that a joke? Did he make that up? Is that a real language? I have no idea. Are the books selling well? Selling? You can't put a price on imagination. You can't sell the wonder of a daydream or the laughter of a child. He's right. <laughs> I've tried. Real language. Pretty sure it's dead. Okay, interesting. A weekend stream? I guess so, yeah. The problem is with my job, weekends like are the same as regular days. There's no like distinction in my mind. Every day is the exact same, so I, I don't really think about that. <laughs> But I, I guess, yeah, that makes sense. Ideally, I am reaching new people by streaming on the weekend. People that might otherwise be unavailable during the weekdays, school or work or whatever. Are the books selling well? Selling? You can't put a price on imagination. Oh, whoops, I already did this. You can't sell the wonder of a daydream or the laughter of a child. Is it 420 in Canada? What do you mean? It's 420 everywhere. That's not like a time zone thing. It's a it's April 20th, the same t day around the world. What are you talking about? What was your book about again? Genetics? The Handbook for Multicolored Happiness? It's about everything. And nothing at all. Oh, oh 421. I see. You're saying you're far enough ahead and, and on the clock that it's already over. 
Yeah, no, it's only it's only 6:30 here. So we're we're still blazing it up. Yeah, for another few hours, that's good. I mean, usually the Sam and Max streams are 3 hours tops. Ideally, they're only 2 hours, but unfortunately, they never they're never, they're never actually 2 hours. They're usually like 3 hours each. Show us a magic trick, you bliss. Magic is easy when the colors of your soul are Yeah, yeah, <laughs> less chatter, more magic. Okay. How about I disappear? <laughs> your mind reading is obviously still working. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Now watch me as I vanish. Except you won't be able to watch me because I'll be gone. <laughs> what on earth is this character? How did they how did they come up with Hugh Bliss? I feel like at this point in the game, in the series, that's still the character that's the most baffling to me. Not not the like the TV stars or the licensed psychotherapist that changes jobs every day, but this is this is crazy. I don't know how they came up with this guy. Hey, a free home delivery sign. I'm sorry, we took that? And now Hugh Bliss is back. <laughs> okay, hang on. I wanted to lower the effects and probably the music too. I feel like the game's not balanced as well as it should be. Maybe like this. Uh, okay, I guess we'll just leave. There, there, There's definitely a value in having him gone, though, because that gives us a uh, time to do something. I, I ended up using that time to steal a sign. I don't know if that's what I was supposed to do, but that's what I have. But that wasn't his sign, free home delivery. That has nothing to do with what he's doing. I don't know. We'll come back to that. Maybe we need one of his books at some point. What's in the gumball machine today? Novelty gumballs. Shaped just like the real thing, but made of inedible plastic. Huh. Fool your friends, annoy your grandparents. Um. Okay, let's go inside Bosco's. What's shaking, Bosco? Ah, greetings, comrade dog and rabbit. <laughs> I'm having trouble placing the accent this month. Mid-Atlantic states? The San Fernando Valley? Hmm, I get more of a vague Baltic vibe. Something in a light check pattern. Ha <laughs> ha! Comrade Maximilian makes the funny joke. I am Vladimir Ilyevich Baskovorsky, Russian proprietor of Workers' Glorious Warehouse of Inconvenience, no? No! But now I make new start in America, which I love. So it's no need to aim in sophisticated targeting equipment at me. <laughs> look, look at the poster in the back. Uh, yeah, I'll bite, Bosco. What, what, are we, what are we doing today? Who are we avoiding the eyes of today? What's with the Soviet bloc, Bosco? He's perfectly natural, comrade. I work with your American government in spirit of glasnost. They know, they know. Who knows what? The feds, man. Uncle Sam. The government's watching us all the time. So that's why I always feel an overbearing presence just out of my field of vision, watching and judging my every move. <laughs> that's me, man. <laughs> Looks at the camera. <laughs> why is the government spying on you, Bosco? I don't know. Maybe it's because I know too much. Um, she does know a lot. Humor the poor guy, Max. But I make new start in America, which I love. So there's no need to target in me. The, the joke is that he doesn't know a lot, but to be fair, he's, he's been making us, like, advanced technology with simple kitchenware every episode. So I, you gotta give him some credit. I suppose you've got some ridiculously complex whirly gig to defend yourself against the feds? He's the people, comrades. Workers will overthrow fascist regime. What about us loafers? All are welcome. Come day of victory, workers will unite to bring downfall of corrupt administration. We will number in tens of millions. That's a lot of Bolsheviks. No, he's all true. Plus, I'm going to missile defense system. Bolsheviks. Dude, oh, some of the jokes. I feel like, and, and it sucks because a lot of the jokes go over my head, but sometimes they, they catch just right. Missile defense system? Isn't that more than a little bit overkill? Yet! We are strong like bear against attack! I'm working on modifying B-Taz part D. 
Your anti-delivery system? That's right. It was already programmed to keep people from delivering goods to the store, so I just went into the database and changed beef jerky to intercontinental ballistic. <laughs> so now anyone can just deliver a blimp load of beef jerky to your store without fear of reprisal? It's small price to pay for freedom. Okay, somehow that's going to be relevant because we can ask him about the missile defense system again. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm shocked that, 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 that I'm shocked that there's a world where somehow we're going to be able to take advantage of this technology that prevents missiles from being delivered to his convenience store. We want to buy something. Da, it's evil but necessary private enterprise. <laughs> Dude, come on. You can't play the communism hard, card that hard. You're running a convenience store. What have you got today? What do you got? His most glorious invention, comrades, is useful for how you say questioning. Questioning. His truth serum makes easy, even the most difficult, how you say interrogation. That's scary. Interrogation. Truth serum? Is this another one of your half baked, overpriced gimmicks, or does it actually work? Both will make anyone get rid of inhibitions and telling, uh, how you say, uh, complete and honest truth. Your accent sucks. Hey, it's already working. Uh, actually, you know what? I think it's on to something. I think it is the weakest accent so far. How much? I like that truth serum, Comrade Boscovich. It's good. Price is 867.5309 rubles. How much is that in real money? $100 million. <laughs> I think your rate of exchange is a little off, Boskovorsky. Fall of Berlin Wall brings great strength to our economy. Isn't that a little pricey for truth serum? It's bargain. It really does work, and I haven't even tried it yet. Sam, this morning I used your toothbrush. Results are guaranteed. I used it to clean out my ears. This is refreshingly liberating. Besides, I need the money to complete my satellite defense system. I needed to clean out my ears because I've been rummaging through. Okay, I've heard enough. <laughs> Give us the truth serum. <laughs> I mean, how? <laughs> actually, you know what? I think a cool twist would be if we actually come across rubles instead of a hundred million dollars. But uh, we'll see. What happens if we try to strong arm him? We'll take that truth serum. He's yours for only one hundred million American dollars. I seem to have left my hundred million dollars in my other suit. We'll be back. Never mind. Nothing for us right now. Something in here smells like fermented hate. It's like sweaty jock straps soaked in boiled cabbage with a dash of salt. <laughs> Keep it down, guys. You're scaring off the other customers. Uh, yeah. What other customers? What other customers? Max and I are always the only ones in here. It's good thing. Merchandise is always available. Coming in here is like visiting old friends. Some of these cereal boxes are from the McKinley administration. <laughs> I carved our initials in one of the weenies, so we'll be best friends forever, Sam. When's the last time you cleaned out the weenie rotisserie? Needs no cleaning. Adds vintage flavor to tasty franks. <laughs> tasty franks. When's the last time you cleaned out the weenie rotisserie? Oh, that's it. Needs no cleaning. Adds vintage flavor to Tasty Franks. Tasty Franks. See you later, Bosco. He's no Bosco, comrade. He's only loyal worker, Bosco Vorsky. True, actually? American government whatsoever. I think, I think there's some truth to that when it comes to cheese. I don't think that applies to rotisserie hot dogs. Nothing like a gaggle of security cameras pointed at a guy to make him feel at home. I'm comfortable with it because I'm uncommonly photogenic. Okay, we've poked around this place enough. If there's anything actually actually new, great, but nothing's changed since last time. Whee! There's nothing on the table. Okay, that's it. We need a hundred million dollars somehow. Uh, we'll swing by the office. Since we're here. Hmm. 
<laughs> oh. Still adjusting to the new sleep schedule. I'm sure I will be for weeks, so forgive me as I continue yawning throughout the rest of the stream. Also, my throat is kind of sore. I remember yesterday I said it was getting... Or not yesterday, because I actually didn't stream yesterday. But the day before that I said... My throat was kind of sore. It's still kind of sore. I don't know. Like, normally that would be indicative of I'm getting a cold. But not for three days straight. At this point, I don't know. I'm just waiting to get over it. It's the mildest cold of all time. But unfortunately, I'm already out of tea. So, at this point, I just got to deal with it. Okay, you walked into me that time. You can't even blame me for that one. I was just standing here. And Max walked into me. What's in the closet door from last time? Oh. An entire guy. <laughs> That's... I was wondering what our souvenir from episode 3 would be. It's just a dude. It's just Leonard. It's our favorite shifty card cheat. Leonard Steak Charmer. How you doing, Leonard? Hey, how's that Come in. Good, good. All right. Anyways. <laughs> That's kidnapping? That ain't no kid. That's actually illegal? No, we're freelance police. We can do whatever we want as long as it's in the name of the law. I bought that VCR at the supermarket. So you know it's a good one. Still smells like asparagus, though. Um, okay, I guess we'll leave. There's nothing to grab, even? Nothing to help us at all? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, I've already had a mental rut. What do we need? We need a, we need a hundred million dollars, we need an application for a dating contract, and we need to break into the White House. <laughs> those are, those are difficult tasks, and all I have is a boxing glove. Wait, free home delivery? Is this going to be play? Is this going to be? Is this going to play into the fact that the we're trying to get into the White House? I'm going to try something before we leave. I'm going to see if I can get one of these books in case maybe this is somehow useful at some point. Because again, it's impossible to predict what's going to be used in what context. So it's best to just hoard everything you can. So if I can if I can get a book, I should. Hi, Hugh Bliss. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. Oh, where's your sound effect? Can you disappear again? I want to figure out how you did it. It's easy, Sam. I take all the colors from my surroundings and spin them into a great big Okay, yeah, I was just being polite. I don't care how you do it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Can I not? No, he's already back. Okay, I'm going to say that this is something we'll take advantage of later. Either that or I just accidentally already did the thing. So I'm leaving. Where are we going, Sam? We're off to the White House. Oh, boy! Punch him. Assaulting armed secret service agents is one of the leading causes of getting yourself killed. Fair enough. Uh-uh. No? You don't like that? No dice. No dice? Remind me what the payphone was all about? Take Susan B. Anthony dollars. It must be one of those stupid 555 phones. Yes, actually. Five. Okay, thank you. Whee! Maybe we're able to call that phone and lure the security guard over to it while he's answering the phone we just walk in. Sybil has a phone, I think. We could try that. Let me make sure there's no new dialogue options since we last talked. Nope. I've had enough of this. Where are we going, Sam? Back to the office. Shotgun! 
We'll give it a shot. I, I have to try literally everything in this game. Even the even the even the furthest leap of logic is valid. So if I have an idea, I should try it. You have an intercom. You don't have a phone. Okay, we have a phone then, I guess. We'll just go to the office. Wait, who are we going to put on the other line? I can't just call it and then leave it there and expect him to just stand there and listen to nothing. I have to have someone talking on the other line. Do we use the roach, maybe? Do I get the roach to, like, record a conversation that's being had? Do we have to use the gun? I won't rule it out. At some point, the gun may be relevant. Who are you calling, Sam? The White House. Okay, so we can call the White Sorry, what is Mista Pizza? Mista Pizza. Two medium pineapple and asbestos pies, please. Oh, yeah? Well, same to you, jerk. What'd he say? Thank you, and have a nice day. <laughs> okay, what is... Hang on, I should know this. What is asbestos? I'm not gonna look this up because I'm <laughs> I'm playing a game. But what is asbestos? You tell me. You calling, Sam? The White House. White House. Have you checked the baby? Yes, sir. Sleeping soundly. Oh, good job then. What? Is that a reference to something? I do not understand that. Um, what happens if I just drag you onto the phone? Who are you calling, Sam? The White House. White House. State your business. I will feast on your entrails <laughs> and devour your soul. <laughs> okay, great. Okay, I think we need him to record something else. What can what can we record to keep this guy busy? Nothing in the office, that's for sure. Can I get Sybil to just rant about something? It was used in a bunch of stuff since it was really resistant to fire and corrosion. <laughs> okay, I, I, I still don't really see the joke. I guess it's inedible is the joke. And for some reason, in, instead of choosing something more understood, they went with asbestos. I, 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 the, only, my, the only context I have for asbestos is I know that it can be in your basement and it's bad for you. But I don't know what that means or what it looks like or how to prevent it or... Uh, okay. I placed the listening device on Sybil's desk. Hey Sybil, how goes the dating game? Computer-generated love is in the air. Uh... What are you looking for in a date again? I would love to meet a tall, older man with a good career. Is that it? Are we gonna try to... Are we gonna try to lure the guy over to Sybil's? <laughs> What's the play here? Stuff was fibrous. Breaking stuff that contained asbestos caused it to dust up and get inhaled. Okay. It's highly toxic, but if left alone, it's mostly safe. Yeah, so there's there's purpose to it, but it's just dangerous if consumed. And unfortunately, it's easier to consume than you might think. Okay. It tracks, then. Uh, So, okay, if I just put this up to the phone, is it going to get all of the conversation? Or is, is he just going to start saying, I'm looking for someone tall and handsome with a good career? I might as well try it. See you around, Sybil. Okay, here's what she said. Hmm. Meter maid? Nah. Movie industry executive? Done that already. Hey, this looks good. Shuttle pre-flight analyst. Oh, it's part-time only. Thank you, sir. What? 
Oh, so it recorded something like between transitions. So it doesn't record with the conversation that you trigger. It just randomly records something from the person. Okay, well that's not useful to me. That's just Sybil thinking about her next career because she already realizes the dating thing's not working. I'm sure I'll still be streaming in uh, another three years. You can tell me how the asbestos poisoning is doing then. Three years from then, we'll check back again. We'll, we'll keep track of Ribby's mental health. It'll be an ongoing... Uh, it'll be a running joke on the stream. Okay, let's spy on Bosco. Surely somebody has to have something that would, like, interest this guy. Spy on Bosco. We've got an understanding. You understand that, sir? Yes, sir. Okay, that's fair. He's the one that gave us the bug. So, do I just spy on the guard then? I mean, there's no one else to spy on. I guess that's also a thing I should probably do at some point. Maybe he's got some information that I could use. Wait, can I spy on you? What is Hugh Bliss gonna say? <laughs> And why do I care? President appoints action figure Oops. as Secretary of Defense. That Record a Russian president. scare at the White House demanding one hundred billion dollars. <laughs> oh, I can dig it. Yeah, and then what happens to the we don't negotiate with terrorists sentiment? Are they just gonna drop that immediately for no reason? Here's what he said. The magic and illusion of wonder is a dream from your imagination. And I know you're listening, Sam and Max. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough. Thanks, Hugh. I like posters. I'm sure the poster's relevant somehow. I'm just not sure how at all. Free home delivery. I've got I've gotta draw a a parallel at some point with something. Where are we going, Sam? We're off to the White House. Oh boy! Listen to this guy. We <laughs> just stand around awkwardly. Okay, here's what he said. Just step away from the door, please. Yes, sir, that is all I say. Thank you, sir. <laughs> what on earth? Thank you. Thank you for that. Where are we going, Sam? Back to the office. Shotgun! All right. What have we truly not done yet? I noticed this dead end sign again. Maybe it's just because it's been so long since I played, but I don't remember this being here or interacting with it. One way, dead end. Street signs are such fitting metaphors for the human condition. Remind me to refill your prescriptions. Okay. Lefties is still not relevant, I assume. Lefties tool rental shop is still vacant. Remember that afternoon when I put on a baseball cap and spent hours out here playing fizzball with Lefty? If you mean that night when you put on a hockey mask and spent hours chasing Lefty <laughs> on the street with a chainsaw, then yes. Precious memories. I love that there's randomized responses sometimes to stuff. Because, yeah, sometimes the player's going to click on something they've already clicked on. So might as well give them new dialogue, right? Give me all you got. It's the Army's new recruiting slogan. That's a lot better than their old one. What are you, chicken? Gonna cry now, baby? Apparently, there's no room in the military budget for quality adhesives. Can I pick it up? Okay, I just I just have that now. What about this one? Spend the bottle championship is coming up. I like when they do the sudden death round with the Molotov cocktails. <laughs> do you like taking in some pro wrestling? I think I've seen that one. I wonder if those are like pictures of the devs or something. There's like grainy, tiny little black and white photos of people on that poster. We should go to Switzerland sometime, Max. Nah, they always jip you on the cheese. It's like half air. 
Okay, sorry, what's the poster I got? Give me all you got. And free home delivery. How are either of these relevant to anything? Maybe I can trick someone into reading the text on the poster and then record that with the listening device and play it back. Like, give me all you got sounds like a threat. So maybe I can record the bug recording someone reading that and then play it on the phone. I don't really, again, it's, it's a serious stretch, but I, believe me, you have to stretch like that when you're playing this game. So, do I just put this up in Bosco's store? No, because he doesn't want to record Bosco. Okay, maybe Hugh? No, because Hugh can read minds. Okay, let's go put it in Sybil's store then. See if I can find a place for it. And just hope that she reads it out loud, I guess, to herself. <laughs> and I'm sure that if I, I, like, I don't put the listening device now. What if I just put the listening device now and then give her the poster? Let's just try this in the first place. Dude, what is this, like, single pixel I have? No, thanks. No? Nah. No can do. Nah. I feel better already. Nothing useful in here. Hmm. Can I submit this as an application? No dice. Uh -uh. Hey, Sybil, how goes the dating game? Computer generated love is in the air. What kind of stuff is on this application? The usual your best traits and what kind of person you're looking for. Hooks for hands! Hooks for hands! <laughs> when you're done, I'll put the application into my computer, which analyzes your personality matrix at 15 essential compatibility points. I don't have a personality matrix so much as a personality vector. Once we've found a match, you call your date and agree on a time and place. Let me help you guys out. Tell me your good points and what you're looking for in a date. Hmm... This might be like the, uh, this might be like when we had to get into the, the house of former child stars and we had like a specific, like, like outcome we were trying to gain. So this probably is not going to do anything right now. <clears throat> she should love animals. Such as the elusive praying mantis, whose deadly but enthralling mating rituals she mimics. <laughs> really know how to ruin the mood, Max. <laughs> oh, and cybernetic implants, like an elbow that can connect to the internet. Now, don't write that down. <laughs> I just meant me. We're, we're animals. She should like animals because we are animals. She should have an air of mystery. Making frequent passing mention to her time on the chain gang, but when pressed, <laughs> revealing nothing. She should love the outdoors. We frequently lock ourselves out of the office. She should be tall. At least 12 feet, or 4 meters if she's Canadian. It's funny because even, even I don't get that joke as a Canadian because I don't measure in meters. Nobody does. We all measure in feet. The American measure, measurement system took over in Canada. I'm very spiritual. A disciple of the ancient ones, enacting dark magic rituals to bring forth their reign again upon this earth. Rise, Shigarai. Don't write Rise, this down. I lead an active lifestyle. Always running from the authorities. I don't know what you're talking about. We are the authorities. I can appreciate a person's inner beauty. I even have my own sonogram machine. 
What the heck is a sonogram? So isn't that what they use to like to like monitor babies and pregnant women? <laughs> that's all I can think of. Oh, that's plenty. Now I'll just put your applications into the computer. And there it is. Max, it says your perfect match is... Cybernetic laser eyes. Oh, please. Oh, please. Oh, please. Well, that's interesting. It says your perfect match is Sam. Disturbing. And yet somehow not completely unexpected. And Sam, your ideal soulmate is... Wait for it. Max. Well, there goes another blow to the concept of a fair and just universe. Hey, Sam. What do you say we never, ever speak of this again? Way ahead of you, little buddy. <laughs> okay, what an excellent waste of time that was. See you around, Sybil. That brings us absolutely nowhere closer to where we need to be. Okay, I'm going to try putting these up in Bosco's. Maybe he'll freak out or something. Wait, what if I replace the poster out here? Can I do that? No, that's not interactable. No thanks. Bosco I've got presents for you. Let me just try giving it to him first. No can do. No. I think there's going to be, like, if this was a thing I could do, there would be, like, a spot on a wall somewhere. That would already be interactable, and you drag the poster onto it, you know? So I think this one's a wash. How would Mike Tyson use a payphone? <laughs> Dude, I love, I love, I, I appreciate how roundabout your hints are. Remember our old car, Max? I said I was sorry. <laughs> um, okay. We know we have to call the White House. That seems so phenomenally obvious. That that is the end result here. We have the ability to repeat things with the listening device. I don't know what the last thing it recorded was, but let me test something. Let's see if it even changes what it says into the phone based on the fact that I've recorded something since the last time we did this. That's useful information. Nah. Move out the way. Who are you calling, Sam? The White House. Just step away from the door, please. Yes, sir, that is all I see. Okay, so that does work. Okay, good. That works. I got a good feeling about that then. I feel like we're on the right track. <clears throat> so we have the ability to call Sib or we have the ability to record Sybil entertaining new jobs. We have the ability to record <sighs> Hugh for no reason. I and mean, of course we can record the card itself, which obviously does nothing. We've got a boxing glove. We can use this to threaten people, but not actually do harm. As far as I can tell. Can I... Again, the problem is, it seems like what happens is you place the, the bug down, it records something, and then it stops. And then you can interact with the person. So, my theory of recording an interaction based on my own intervention doesn't seem to work. Maybe this is a flaw in the game design. Maybe it'll just randomly work anyways when it's convenient to do so, which would be really annoying. Can I threaten anyone with the boxing glove? There are so many other things to punch. There are so many other things to punch. Yeah, but isn't that like one of the things you want to punch the most? There are so many other things to punch. I really think you should reconsider punching Hugh Bliss. I think that'd be a really cool idea. 
Okay, I'm not gonna threaten to hit Sybil. Wait, okay, let's <laughs> wait, wait. Boxing glove. Let me think. Also, there's stuff on the White House grounds I should probably consider. Wait, I forgot. We can record, uh, 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 the rat. Shoot, why did I forget his name again? Two teeth. Jimmy Two Teeth. Where are we going, Sam? Let's see what he says. We're off to the White House. Oh, boy! Nah. No, just straight up no on that one. Really? You know, you don't even want to entertain it? The White House pool. Most secure waiting pool on Earth. And then a golf hole. Hmm. Can I mess with the phone in some way? Nah. No dice. There like are so I, many other things to punch. Like if I mess with it, maybe he'll be occupied, like he'll answer the phone and realize there's something wrong with it. Okay, great. Hey, this phone only takes Susan B. Anthony. Dollars. Okay, thank you. It must be one of those stupid five five. Yes, actually, five five five. Love how indifferent the guard was to gunfire. I thought as soon as I pulled the gun out, he'd be like, "Hold on a minute, sir," <laughs> or something like that. He just truly did not care. Now, if I aim it at him, will game a different outcome. That I might as well try in desperation of trying absolutely everything. That would hardly be sporting. <laughs> that would hardly be sporting. Okay. Never mind. Free home delivery. Give me all you got. <laughs> what am I not seeing here, man? I'm just gonna record Sybil and try the phone again. Where are we going, Sam? Back to the office. Shotgun! Can you bug the payphone? I just tried that. That's that's what led to the conversation on the phone for the third time. The game just ignores that you're trying to do that. You're stumped? Don't worry. It's, uh, that's apparently just normal. Okay, here's what you would have been stumped the last two episodes too. Nah. Movie industry executive? <sighs> what is it meter hey, made? I feel like I, I have an idea up. based on the name alone. Oh, it's part time only. But, but don't aren't the police the ones that go around to parking meters and, and and check like the times on them? That's not like a dedicated job, is it? Maybe it was just different in 2007. Whee! Can I <laughs> can I can I bug the guy in the closet? <laughs> I can't remember his name. <laughs> Just the muffled, call, the muffled like <laughs> moans or, or whatever. The White House. Hmm. Meter maid? Nah. Movie industry executive? Done that already. Hey, this looks good. Shuttle <laughs> pre-flight analyst. Oh, it's part time only. This is an official number. Please stop calling. Okay. Same response. He 
doesn't have anything to say. Okay, fair enough. This charred pile of scrap serves as a touching reminder of the fun we had at WARP TV. I've determined that whether for food or for sport, I just really enjoy frying things. Anybody home? Guess not. <clears throat> okay. Well, that's everyone we can record. To be fair, I did not yet try recording Hugh and then putting him on the phone, but I would just be so genuinely shocked if that garnered a different response than the other two. So again, I think we need a specific phrase or something uttered. Oh, you can see why I, <laughs> why I need to like put breaks in between playing this game. It's so taxing just sitting down for a couple hours and doing one chapter. <sighs> Maybe I should shift courses here. Maybe we should think about a hundred million dollars. What even was it? It was a truth serum. That's what it was. Would a truth serum help here at all? It probably wouldn't. We can't drive anywhere. We can just go to the White House and then back here. It's so weird that Hugh is even here. Like, so far, that hasn't been relevant at all. At what point is this relevant? Let me talk to you again. Hi, Hugh Bliss. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. Are the books selling well? Selling? You can't put a price on imagination. You can't sell the wonder of a daydream or the laughter of a child. He's right. I've tried. Uh, no, we did this already. I don't know why we can't just take a book. Like, I know we don't, like, there's no real reason to take a book right now, but uh, it just seems weird. Why not just take a book? I'm surprised that wouldn't just play in at some point. And again, getting him to disappear so far has not been needed either. Stay colorful. What if you use the phone with no roach? I've definitely done that, correct? Have we not done that? There's no way I just forgot to try that. Calling Sam. I think what happened was I picked up the phone and I was going to do that. And then I saw Mista Pizza. And so I did that instead. <laughs> and then I forgot to just go back and try calling the White House. And I immediately thought, let me grab the roach instead. The White House. White House. Agent Super Bowl speaking. No, no, wait, I did do this. Right. Have you checked the baby? Okay, well, what are the other three, op the other two options? We've got two very special agents coming to the White House today. One is tall, well-dressed, and devilishly handsome, and the other is Max. Grant them full clearance, over. Can't do that without approval form signed in triplicate, sir. Regulations. I mean, yeah, that obviously wasn't going to work. And then what's the third option? The White House. White House. Agent Super Bowl speaking. Dude, this guy's job sucks. <laughs> Hello, please hold. Roger. What? That's so dumb! Be expensive this month. It's okay, Max. I've been paying them out of your retirement fund. Hello? Is anyone there? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Like, and every time I think that I'm getting this game, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna think of something really outside the box and really, like, make use of the tools I have to do something really weird. And then the answer is just to tell him to just stand there? That's the answer. Going, Sam? <laughs> this game is so They're frustrating. It constantly oh. wants you to not understand what to do. Hello. 
Not a free thinker, I guess. Yep. What can I say? It's got to be all those uh, brain rape, brain waves that the liberals have been transmitting through the 5G connections. Now, a lot of these same folks will say that we're wrong for introducing this federal pudding embargo. They envy our freedom. I ask you, what have they got to hide? Unless they're secretly sitting on stockpiles of pudding, and oh yes, we will find them. They've got nothing to be afraid of. So in conclusion, America, get your back up off the wall. Dance, come on, marzipan and good night. It's worse than we thought, Max. He's crazier than a caffeine-addled dingo in an Adelaide maternity ward. I think he makes a lot of good points. Those puddings are trying to steal our jobs. <laughs> oh, I especially like how he does that spinny thing with his eyes. By the whiskey-soaked beard of Ulysses S. Grant. That's it. The president's not crazy. He's been hypnotized. We've got to snap him out of it, Max, and pronto. How do we do that again? We hit him over the head, like we do with all hypnotized people. Oh, yeah! Oh, no. I was going to say, it's weird that there's only one guard between me and the president. So, I, I, I'm happy there's a second one. Okay, let's poke around the Oval Office. What's in here? It's a bunch of merit badges from the Weasel Scouts. I got one of those once, but they took it away when they found out what I used for bait. <laughs> Take a look at that. <laughs> I love this country. This snow globe has a little Apollo 13 inside. What happens when you shake it? I'm afraid to find out. Nice globe. Amazing how often I need it in this job. <laughs> okay, I guess I'm glad we're, we have free reign to just walk around here without anyone getting mad. The Liberty Bell is a light for this room, just as America is a light for yes. Metaphor is such an ugly quality in furniture. House of Representatives and Gardens. Okay, that's the joke. It's a gardening mag. Hands off the cameras! <laughs> it's a stack of pithy campaign slogans. Oh, don't fool with those! Wouldn't want to be caught on national TV with my drawers down. Again. Are these pictures of you with cardboard <laughs> cutouts of other presidents? We're all cardboard under the skin, son. Funny how almost anything makes sense if a president says it. So he's got he's got caricatures of Nixon and Reagan, but he just he he's not a caricature of anyone. I was expecting Bush, but I guess it's just a random guy. It looks like a, a what do they call a marionette? Throw pillows shaped like stars. Interesting, since actual stars are shaped more like throw pillows. Hi, I'm George Washington. Anyone need their nuts cracked? <laughs> Please don't make fun of George Washington. <laughs> what on earth? Where did that one come from? They've got a rat hole in the White House. Looks like there are rats in the Oval Office. Sam, you've finally done it. A straight line so easy, even I won't touch it. Wait, oh, look at that book there. That's the stupid book for the Hugh Bliss is selling. This urn says Fluffy on it. Wasn't that Warren G. Harding's nickname? These plates commemorate the core values of freedom-loving peoples everywhere. Eating a lot and hitting things with sticks? Exactly. Are, are hot dogs actually an American invention? I don't think they are. <laughs> I don't, I don't know many foods that are actually American, like truly. There's just a lot of imported foods. This is either an early draft of the Declaration of Independence or a crude map of Lithuania. Roosevelt's boxing gloves, encased in lucite. TR or FDR? ER, I think. I'm not sure who this is, but he must be important. <laughs> 
U.S. Senate talent show, second place. My finest hour. Apparently, even U.S. presidents have mothers. Hands off, boy! That's my presidential calendar. Calendar, okay. I'm taking special note of everything he specifically doesn't want us to mess with, which is the camera, campaign slogans? Which I assume is the equivalent of a teleprompter? And then a calendar. Hey, Matt, do you work here? What tipped you off? We're freelance police, buddy. This is a national emergency. And we don't appreciate your sassy mouth. Auditions for new White House pet are down the hall. <laughs> this can only end in violence. Hmm, this guy's voice sounds... Wait, hang on. He might be cooking. Him, Max. Half the time, I don't even recognize you, Sam. I'm over here, little buddy. Who said that? You seem familiar. Does he? Is he from the last chapter? That was three weeks ago, so forgive me for not remembering. Was he one of the mafioso? He must have been. I don't know who else he'd be. Do I know you from somewhere? Yeah, I'm that voice in the back of your head that tells you to mind your own business. The yeah, I think he was the doorman. The surly tone. I've got it. You're that pit boss from the toy mafia. I smell a conspiracy. You smell a nosy dog who's going to get smacked if he don't stop asking questions. Wait, hang on. The toy mafia. Okay, so the toys were hypnotizing people. But the toy mafia weren't actually behind it, right? They were victims of the hypnotism scheme. Dude, oh no. I shouldn't have put such a big gap of time between the last chapter and this one. Now I'm really struggling to remember. How the heck did that play out? We got to the back. Okay, the point of the last mission was to find a mole that was sent to investigate the Mafia. But th when we got there, we found out that he had become the actual boss. Like he was converted, and I don't think it was through hypnosis. And then we blew up a toy factory. That's that's all I remember. <laughs> Anything else that happened that was relevant to the overarching story, I've forgotten. Okay, whatever. I'll just let the I'll just let the game play itself and try to tell me what's going on cuz I can't figure it out myself. What's the toy mafia got to do with the secret service? What toy mafia? Oh, he's good, Sam. The Orso Nostra, the sacred organization you inducted me and Max into in a time-honored ceremony. The one that we infiltrated, repeatedly duped, and then blew up in a fiery explosion of death and property damage. I was going to casually forget to mention that part, Max. That's a very entertaining story, chowderheads. Now, run along and play whilst I protect the leader of our country. I mean... <sighs> He's got glasses on. Maybe he's hypnotized too. He might actually not remember. I think somebody may have hypnotized the president while you weren't looking. You, perhaps. Very funny. What do you do around here? I give out free t-shirts to the visitor who asks the dumbest question of the day. Please accept my apologies, but we're all out of husky boys' sizes. Woo! Double burn! I thought you were on my side, Max. I just call him like I see him, Sam. You're the president's personal bodyguard? You catch on quick. We need to have a private meeting with the president. National security. Go right ahead. I meant private, as in wait outside and we'll call you when we need you. And national security, as in we need to clobber the president. Max, on the Max. Your gift for subterfuge is uncanny, Max. And that's uncanny as in you two try anything and I'll plug you. You're always with the president? Even when he's got a, you know... Always. I never leave his side. Your codependency sickens me. And it sickens me in exactly the same way, doesn't it, Max? I mean, Sam. <laughs> what? 
I got the codependency joke, but why did he get their own names mixed up? <laughs> Is the implication that they're just the same unit at a certain point? Because they can't be separated? What's behind that door? It's a private club for people who aren't annoying me. You two ain't invited. Should we pummel him together, Sam? Or it's just called war. Sense? We can create a national security incident after we've saved the president, Max. I assume that's like, um, I can't remember what you call it, but it's like the planning room. I mean, they always have it in like shows and movies. I don't even know if it's a real thing. Seriously, pal, what's behind that door? It's the door to the war room with unrestricted access to the United States entire arsenal of long range missile weapons. There's no part of that sentence I didn't like. Then it's unanimous. We'd like a tour. Nobody gets into the war room during peacetime. Okay, I was wrong. Stay away from it, or I'll have to escort you out. Two for the war room, please. Nothing doing. But Max came all this way. He's been dreaming of it for years. Can you look into those big brown slits he uses for eyes and crush the lifelong dream of a childlike rabbity creature? Even if I were moved by that kind of thing, which I ain't, this door stays locked at all times. Unless we're in a war. Okay. Not so subtly implying that we need to get in there for some reason. We'll be back. I cannot wait. Oh. Okay. So we need to trigger a state of emergency somehow. And again, why? I don't know. Like, really? When all we're trying to do... Well, I say all we're trying to do, like this is some kind of small feat, but we're trying to fix the president. He's currently hypnotized. <sighs> Give me all you got. Free home delivery. Not entirely sure, but there's probably somehow those will play play into that. Stand back, son. That there's the national budget. Okay, can I talk to you? Good day, Mr. President. We come in peace, as far as you know. Oh, finally! The interpreters! Where have you been? Ah, uh, sure, let's play along. Interpreters? Yeah! That is why you fellas are here, right? Sure, why not? Because I got a meeting with one of them furrin dignitaries. Always talking that crazy face <laughs> furrin. What? Okay. We'll try our best, Mr. President, sir. Today. Heck if I know. They show up and start jabbering away about treaties and whatnot. I just let the interpreters figure it out. I just keep an eye on them to make sure they don't steal something or try to eat the cat. Uh, sure. We're ready to start interpreting. That's aces, fellas. But the dignitary hasn't shown up yet. Show yourselves around the office. But don't touch nothing. Hmm. Oh, okay. So, I'm sorry. We need to... F <laughs> Repeat for me. Start interpreting. That's aces, fellas. But the dignitary hasn't shown up yet. Show yourselves around the office. But don't touch nothing. <sighs> okay, and why do I want to do this? I'm, I'm having such a hard time putting the pieces together in my head. Gotta know when to hold them, know when to fold them. The man's a genius, Sam. I almost feel bad for doing this. It's for the good of the country, Max. Okay, we need to <laughs> access the war room or possibly have someone access the war room on our behalf to obtain a missile? We need to pretend to be the president's translator during during foreign exchange. We need to get a date. <laughs> we need truth serum, so we need a hundred million dollars. <laughs> Maybe we get those from government treasury bonds. <laughs> What is this chapter? Okay, let's leave, I guess. We'll just leave. We have absolutely no business here right now. Hello. 
and we obtained nothing. And now we're going to go back in because you're telling me I need to. Not because that makes any sense. No, sir. I said so. Why is Wizard here? Very important issue. Was I? No, comprende, son. But I'm speaking English. Ah, are, are you two fellas the interpreters? It's about time. Darndest thing, we just had a couple imposters in here. Dead ringers for you two. Were they walking around examining everything and engaging everyone in pointless conversations? Those are the ones. Those accursed clones. When will their devilish mimicry end? Help me out with this here potentate, would you? Can't understand a dang word. But that doesn't make sense. I don't even have an accent. Oh, no. Momento, por favor. Impatient little guy, ain't he? What on earth is happening? What? Why is Wizard here? What business do you have with the president? What's new, Wizard? That's Governor Wizard. Thank you very much. What brings you to the Oval Office? I'm trying to build up nationwide support for the MRSAPP. Who's Mr. Sap? And why didn't you want me to know you were talking about him? I can spell, you know. It's the Mount Rushmore Soda Abuse Prevention Program. It's totally changed my life. I've been carbonation free for over four weeks now. What? Tell us about the MRSAPP. Be brief. I started the Mount Rushmore Soda Abuse Prevention Program after I became governor to help people get flat like me. But if we can't get federal funding, people what? is he hypnotized again? back on the pop i don't work eight hours a day six days a week just to throw my money away for some washed up soda junkies with no sense of self-control you don't have any money max oh right never mind good luck with that Wiz. so you really kicked the soda habit huh and how back when i was on the pop i was in a real downward spiral that endless cycle of always looking for my next fizz then having to take time out for number one then I saw that documentary about Peanut Franklin, and it convinced me I didn't want to be just another self-destructive former child star. Peanut Franklin, the lovable star of Mixed Nuts who was found in a secret Hollywood motel room dead of anaphylaxis. Don't, no, don't, don't what distract me with pointless no lore. Still too soon, Max. I don't, I don't need this. Sorry, what did that sign say? Who didn't have sex? What is happening? I don't want to play this game anymore. I'm done with this video game. What are you talking about? You're flat. Why did you stop drinking soda? And why do I care? Why are you here? You're just trying to tell people not to drink soda and you want to broadcast that to the American people because you realize that soda is bad for you. Okay, well, tough luck, bro. Coca-Cola owns like 3% of this government's economy. I guess we're ready to interpret whatever that means. Me, the president needs the interpreter. What did he say, Sam? I'm speaking English. I don't even have an accent. Can't understand a word. See you around, wizard. All right, I guess we're ready to interpret. If it advances the story, we'll do it. For you. All right, let's get this party started. <laughs> Mr. President, my fellow Americans, I come to warn you about a serious epidemic facing our country. The scourge of soda abuse. Many former popheads like myself found ourselves in the endless cycle of addiction and elimination until we believed there was no hope. I don't know what you're saying, son, but you're selling it, boy. Good job. I ask you, how long can this epidemic continue? What was that? He said... How long can this epidemic continue? That is literally what he said. Prepare to die, capitalist oppressor. I assume we don't want to get Wizard kicked out of the office. And what's a guy got to do to get a drink around here? Are we going to try to get him to drink soda again? Or do I just rephrase what he said, but because we're saying it, it makes sense. How long can this epidemic continue? Epidemic? What's this about an epidemic? 
the epidemic of soda abuse, sir. By 2010, four out of five children will be addicted to soda, and the impact on our nation's plumbing system will be disastrous. What was that? Uh, something about soda abuse, blah, blah, whatever. The epidemic of surly, listless teens. I guess this? Something about soda abuse, blah, blah, whatever. Hmm. Sounds like one of them touchy-feely tax and spend welfare programs. <laughs> he said, hmm, sounds like one of those. I heard what he said. Are you guys sure you're translating correctly? Don't blame us, buddy. You're the one with a speech impediment. Try it again from the top, wizard. Ahem. <clears throat> Once again, Mr. President, the impact of soda abuse on our nation's health... Okay, so that was wrong, and they're going to make me redo the whole thing again. Ask again. How long can this epidemic continue? Great job, great job. What do you say? He said... Okay, well, since I'm here, might as well just try another option for the sake of it. What's a guy got to do to get a drink around here? Aha, uh -huh. I know what you need. An ice-cold orange sugar fizz. I swear by it. No, that's not what I want at all. I must resist. But I am thirsty. And just one couldn't hurt. Frosty cold and so delicious. All the progress I've made. They were about to give me my five-week pin. I almost feel bad about that. Five weeks? I don't have a conscience, Sam. What's your excuse? I thought these were happening like days from each other. You were drinking soda like three days ago. Oh, blessed angels of carbonation. Fill me with your syrupy nectar. Ew. Yeah, now I'm not so much guilty as repulsed. Keep it coming. More! I need more! I need... I need a bathroom! Which way is the bathroom? Uh... Which way is the bathroom? We could, uh, Which way is Lincoln's bedroom and which way is the war room? Do I try to I get Wizard to go to the war room? Which way is the war room? It's that door right over there! But I don't... Oh. Thank you. Where do you think you're going? I've got to get in there. Bad. We've got a priority red number two here in the Oval Office. No, it's just number one. Escorting the suspect to holding cell for interrogation. Come with me, sir. But it'll only take a second. Please, let me go. That was fun. Okay, and I didn't catch all that. What did he say? Okay, I don't know how he did it, but somehow the guard's gone. What do I do? Do I just knock this guy in the head? Do I go to the war room? I'm just gonna try to clock him. Now it's time for some checks and balances, freelance police style. Max, will you do the honors? Gladly! Look it, fellas! My fingertips look like little tadpoles! What? They just don't make these guys like they used to. That's no guy, Max. It's a damned ugly puppet. Ah, the drawstring in his back should have been our first clue. Our first clue should have been the swirly eyes. But, silly me, I thought hypnotizee, not hypnotizer. What? Yes, an ingenious device being used to hypnotize the TV-watching public. But who was controlling him? Gonna take days to get that smell out of the interrogation room. What? <laughs> what have you done? He was like that when we got here. Sam did it! <laughs> so these two numbskulls managed to off the president. It was a deep tissue massage gone horribly wrong. Ninjas! Sam did it! Still, ratings from the last State of the Union address were even lower than reruns of Midtown Cowboys. I didn't expect to have to replace the president so soon. But now that these idiots have forced my hand... Uh, we're standing right here. We can hear everything you're saying! It's time for a leader that people will have to listen to. Agents Jackson, Burr, and DeGambe, we are moving the timeline forward. Commence phase two of the operation. I'll prepare the new candidate. Not 
not quite the reaction I would have expected from a Secret Service agent discovering two people over the decapitated body of the president. What do you think this fake body is made of? Can I keep it? No time for that now, Max. We've got to stop the... Wait, what's that noise? Blessed scuba diving Buddha on a banana boat with cocktail onions and a map to the stars' homes. Yeah! They've reanimated America's most beloved president. I always thought Taft was shorter. Not Taft, <laughs> My fellow Dude. Americans, I am Abraham Lincoln. As you know by now, your president was recently murdered by two mysterious... How would they know? But turn not to fear and despair. I have returned to guide us through this troubled time. A vote for me is a vote for Abraham Lincoln. I'll get it! What's that? Uh-huh. Lincoln Memorial. Right. Hydraulic motors and robotic implants. Yes. Okay. I see. We're on it. Wrong number? That was the commissioner, Max. If this new Mechalink wins the emergency election, the nefarious forces controlling him will have unchecked power to destroy the entire free world. I hate when they do that. That's why one of us is going to have to run against him. You got to answer the phone. Okay, fair's fair. Max, we're going to make you the next president <laughs> of the United States. <laughs> we have to yeah. win this through democracy? Okay, okay, all right, listen. I need a mental break. I genuinely need a mental break. This game is too much. I'll be right back.
Okay. <clears throat> Move that out of the way. That wasn't quick. It was uh, it was three minutes. Shouldn't take longer than that. Take a wee, right? Oh, <sighs> oh. <sighs> Oh my gosh. Wait, there's another sign up there? Room for rent. I guess the country really is hard up for cash. <laughs> okay, what? Alright, what's happening? So this is being televised? Okay, alright, hang on. Recap. Recap. What happened? Dude, the president's head is in the water. The president's severed head is an item. Okay. R recap. What's happening? <laughs> How did I get here? The governor called. Said something weird's going down with the president. I, I think. I can't even remember exactly what happened. We had to check on the president for some reason. Uh, What? I don't... The guy that was blocking the door, where is he? Where? Ha what happened to him? He's just gone, I guess. We had to lure him away from the door to get into the Oval Office. We made it there. We found out the president's hypnotized. So we had to lure the guard that was protecting the president away. Quote, unquote, protect protecting. We were suspicious of him being the one that hypnotized him. Successfully, we somehow managed to do so by convincing Wizard that the war room was actually the bathroom. Anyways, after doing so, we knocked the president's head off, thinking that we were going to knock him out so that we could unhypnotize him, but it turned out that it actually wasn't the president at all, and it was just a giant toy that was attempting to hypnotize the American people into doing something with pudding, I think? And so... Somehow now the guard that was quote unquote protecting the president has now taken this opportunity to elect a giant statue of George Washington in his place. Not just any statue, but like the Lincoln Memorial has come to life as a giant robot and is now going to elect himself for president because I guess for some reason there was no vice president in this universe. Also, what happened to the actual president? Are we not even asking that question? It's the severed head of the president. I <laughs> yearn to hold it aloft and turn giant sea atrocities to stone. You're thinking of Medusa's head. Oh yeah, I always get those two heads. <laughs> <laughs> Can you see why I needed a mental break? Hey, Jimmy. Beat it. Are you not really? Beat it. That's your response. Are you not interested at all in what's happening? I guess we'll just wing it. I guess we'll just go up to the podium and attempt to elect Max as president of the United States. Even though I'm sure it's not actually an election cycle right now. Wait, here's the Secret Service agent. He's right here. Who do you like in the election? My money's on Lincoln. And Lincoln's on my money. <laughs> Why is the music so loud again? I thought we balanced this correctly. Hi, America. It's me, Max. Hey, when did you get up there? A vote for me is a vote for prosperity, alacrity, and the tyranny of my furry white iron fist. Thank you. Dude, no one is voting for the rabbit. Why is that the best plan we have? Is to convince people to vote for Max of all American citizens. It's Lincoln's as the future plan. president of the country. Honest, dedicated, over a century of experience. Abraham Lincoln is your man. It's the cue cards for Lincoln's speech. 
I'm glad that I've been given one more life to give for my country. Uh, okay, maybe the posters come in now? Give me all you got and free home delivery are somehow going to sabotage Lincoln's <laughs> acceptance speech? Or, 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 or. <laughs> the democratic process is in shambles. The furry ran for president fellow would just sweep. <laughs> I mean, if we're talking Trump and Biden, then yes. But I'm just saying, do we, whatever. What's our party? <laughs> what party are we running on behalf of? Also, what party is the giant Lincoln statue running on behalf of? As a candidate for office, my pal Max would like to engage in a thoughtful discussion of the key issues. Followed by a round of spiteful mudslinging. Hmm, I see. Well, this is a bit irregular. As you're well aware, I'm the most beloved president in <laughs> How would you know you're dead? I just assumed I'd be running unopposed. Oh no, you didn't! You ain't all that! I freed the slave. I was star of a popular television sitcom. I'm on the penny. I was on TV. Now, gentlemen, we can resolve this like adults through moderate reason debate. Very well, then. In the spirit of democracy, I say, bring it. And it's a beautiful day on the White House. Oh, we're Lawn starting. To bring you the first in a series of debates for this emergency election for U.S. president. In the Republican corner, we have the giant animated statue. Okay, of you're America. Republican. And representing the random violence and destruction party, there is the hyperkinetic rabbit-like creature known as Max. Okay, so the Acting 20 something. The impartial moderator for the debates will be Sam. The candidates are ready, so let's listen in. <clears throat> if Max is representing random violent acts, then I guess yeah, he's the Liberal Party. That makes sense. Let's talk about the issues the nation demands family value. Okay, so this is another Sam and Max thing where I toggle between who I want to talk. I feel like we didn't do enough setup for this. I guess we're going to just somehow wing it and win. We're just going to bink the presidential election. Uh, the nation demands family values. Do you have... Dude, he's Lincoln. He's going to just win. How do we outsmart Lincoln? <laughs> Warm the crowd up with a joke. Okay, let's do that. This election reminds me of a droll story. It seems Chester A. Arthur and the Pope were kayaking down the Amazon one day. Suddenly, a tiny kandiru fish swims up the Pope's <laughs> and lodges itself. <laughs> Arthur grabs the Pope's <laughs> pliers and <laughs> swelled up like a melon. And the Pope says, thanks. Last time that happened, McKinley wanted a. <laughs> no, wait, wait, wait. I think I told it wrong. <laughs> uh it's okay we can salvage this we can salvage this mr lincoln perhaps you'd like to speak about the importance of family values of course a strong family unit is the rock upon which our society is built. Wait, this is being broadcast on warp? Age of your blinged out horseless carriages and racy daguerreotype magazines to believe that honesty and fidelity are outdated concepts. But I stand proud. I have been completely faithful to my lovely wife, Mary Todd, for over seven score years. I've never even looked at another woman. <laughs> do your <laughs> do your eyes work you're a statue <laughs> is light capable of refracting off of objects and accurately presenting the world to your brain question mark do you have a brain i want to learn more about the, learn more about the lincoln statue i'm a uniter not a divider I foresee an America under one rule, an iron-fisted rule. One rabbit, one law. Let your neighbors know that dissent will not be tolerated. <laughs> All hail, Max. 
I'm sorry, what, do I just have to run all of these and then just let the game decide who wins? Can I just, that is all this and then get out of here and just call it a wrap and try this again tomorrow? That is all. Stay frosty, America. Yes, actually. Okay. We can just give up and take a pee break and then come back. Okay, let's mess with the cue cards, I guess. That seems to be like an obvious... An obvious step, but somehow these are our options? Our free home delivery and give me all you got. I, I It's the suggestion that we're threatening people with this poster. Give me all you got. <laughs> I guess we'll try it. Sorry, how did we do that? Did we talk it's to Lincoln? Yeah. This ongoing series of debates between Abraham Lincoln okay, that was a commercial break. We turn you over to our impartial moderator, Sam. Why? How? How? <laughs> how our country is in shambles. If it's legitimately this easy, I hate that this game like is running on cartoon logic 100% of the time. It's very difficult to like rationally come to any conclusions. Contestants, it's time for our lightning round. Mr. Lincoln, I'm going to name some of the tough issues facing our country today. I'd like you to sum up your stand on those issues in a few concise words. Well, all right. I'm afraid this will have to be completely off the top of my head, as I have nothing prepared. Uh, toxic waste? Religion and schools? An attacks plan. Yeah, you can tell this is a 2007 game. Holy smokes. Yeah, let's talk about religion and schools, as if anybody cares about that anymore. Where do you stand on religion and schools? Give me all you got. It sounds like Lincoln was speaking out in favor of religion and schools, but let's see if we get an explanation. No. Okay, okay, I see how this works. And move on. Okay, I see. I see what's going on. So do I, how do I, can I swap the cards in between? Do I even have enough cards? I've only got two. How do you plan to solve the problem of toxic waste? Give me all you got. And Lincoln has apparently offered to take all the nation's toxic waste for himself. A noble promise, but <laughs> he helped him in the polls. What? How is that the takeaway? How would you describe your tax plan? Give me all you got. And candidate Lincoln has proposed one shocker of an economic strategy, which even Democrats are calling a trifle excessive. That had to have hurt <laughs> the polls. Okay. Do I... Oh. Wait, that's it? Wait, who's Nader? There's a third party? I guess there always is, and somehow Max even pulled ahead of that. Okay, can I, so do I back out and swap cards in between to try to strategically gain responses? Free home delivery. I still somehow do not make a connection with that. That is all. <laughs> okay. All right, let's, I might as well try it. Let's just swap cue cards. I'm glad that I've been given one more life to give for my country. No, let me try it. Wait, what happened to the other one? Free home delivery. I guess they're all on there and they just need to be swapped accordingly. Mr. Lincoln, I'd like you to tell the voters your stand on some of the tough issues. Very well. Oh, I see. It eliminated that response, and then we can just repeatedly ask the same questions. The game's very generous. <laughs> How do you plan to solve the problem of toxic waste? Free home delivery. Ooh, an effective but very controversial proposal from candidate Lincoln. And the crowd did not like that idea one bit. Let's see how it affected the polls. <laughs> this is just a live feed of the polls. 
Oh, this is just so... It, it's like so detached from reality. There's no way to rationally come to any conclusions. This game is so frustrating. Where did Max go? What are you doing? I, I genuinely hate this video game. Can I just shoot you for crying out loud and get this over with? I had a feeling that wasn't going to work. Great. Kill me once, shame on you. Kill me twice, shame on me. Uh, okay, we still have to get a third response regarding religion and schools. I think I'm missing a cue card. Give me all you got. So I can just rotate through these three. I'm glad that I've been given one more life to give for my country. Should I bug Lincoln? But why would I think to do this? This is stupid. Mr. He's Lincoln, massive. Would you like to say a few words to the audience? <clears throat> Thank you. This is a date that will be remembered for centuries to come. Today is the day we return America to greatness. I stand here at the steps of the White House, not above the people, but with the people. Only one man can lead the nation through this troubled time. I, Abraham Lincoln, am that man. The time to act is now. Thank you. <laughs> I've heard better addresses from the 411 operator. What did you just say? Hey, Lincoln! What is 411? He wants his beard back. I'm gonna slap you silly, you little punk. Save it for the debate, Max. What? Why would... Why do I care? Why did I want that recorded? Dude, I just want to end the stream and eat something. I didn't even think I was hungry, but now I think my brain's decided to, like, redirect my body processes somewhere else. It's turned off and decided I want something to eat instead. Just to escape from this. You fellas know where I can find an ammo store around here? I've got some extra you could have. What do you pack? Port of that caliber? You're not very good secret service agents, are you? Uh Okay, let's go. Uh, I'm sorry. Wait, I, I just remembered. Do, do I need a hundred million dollars for anything? Are we just forgetting Sybil and Bosco for this chapter? Are they actually not relevant at all? Because so far they haven't done anything. Like, I feel like we've been able to do everything so far without them completely. Which seems wrong. Surely they must come into play at some point. What's 411? I know, that's what I'm saying. What the heck is 411? Uh. Can I get the room for rent sign? Can I get one of these signs and put them on the... I think school and religion. I mean, not like I would have been able to reason my way through the last questions, but school and religion. There's already some punny way to respond to that. Get Lincoln campaign flyer? I have the campaign flyer. I didn't even realize I grabbed it. I don't know what to do with it. Max, read this. You know, Abraham Lincoln is a really great guy. Wait, what am I saying? Do I take this to Sybil? And get her to fill it out? I don't see how that has to, what that has to do with anything. Dude, oh. Where are we going, Sam? Back to the office. Shotgun! I never want to play this game again. I swear every time I play this game, it gets worse and worse. My opinion of this game is dropping one point per chapter. Let me just drop this directly into the service box. 
somehow. What's this? A new application? Yeah, it's uh, for a friend of ours. Let's see. Not the Abraham Lincoln. He's tall, distinguished. He's dead! Theater. He sounds perfect. That chump doesn't have half my cute, fluffy market ability. Do you think your computer can find him a date? Computer? Nothing. This guy sounds perfect for me. Oh, but he didn't leave his phone number. Next time you see him, give him my number. I'd love to meet him. I grab some food because I cannot stand this game anymore. I didn't even let the game finish the last dialogue sequence, so I missed anything that happened. You guys want to just watch something? Or something. Like, I don't even want to finish this game. Let's just do something else. I don't want to see this out. This game is too, like, far gone. It's too nonsensical. I can't grasp anything that's happening. There's no reward anymore to my actions. I genuinely am just so detached from this game, I don't care anymore. I don't want to see the outcome. I, 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 I'm just over it. I'm done. I'm all there for it. I'm sick of this game. It's, it's, just, it's just too out there. There was like a stomachable amount of nonsense for a while, but it's too far gone now. We can either end the stream or we can pivot to something else. And honestly, I just want to eat something, so... I propose we either watch something together, or we just end end the stream. Is there something, like, something I can react to? <laughs> can I be a reaction streamer for a little bit? Can we do some low effort content? Or is it better to just do no content and end it? I'm going to leave it up to you guys. <clears throat> it's on the trending tab. What's happening on YouTube? Mr. Beast, as always. A new Taylor Swift song called Fortnite. Dude, what is happening? Uh, Brawl Stars, Dude Perfect, a new Drake song, a digital circus preview that has 6 million views, play Voices of the Void. Really? Did you hear anything I said? I said I'm eating something and I want to either react to something while I'm eating or I want to end the stream. And you're proposing I play Voices of the Void. Yeah. <laughs> I feel I feel like there's a I feel like there's some kind of disconnect here. I feel I feel like maybe there's some kind of language barrier. 
that's preventing preventing like the the message from getting across All right, it's okay. I'm just going to get out of here. Thank you, Sam and Max. I'm not playing you again. We're done. I know there's two, two and a half more chapters left in the game, but I don't care. I'm, I'm burned on this game. I do have to finish it anyways on my own time at some point. Um, because I'm playing through the remastered version of the game alongside the original version, which is what I've been streaming. Uh, so I will end up playing through it. Maybe I'll do it on Discord, I guess. But I'm just going to be using a tutorial. I'm not going to try to figure out this game anymore. Uh, but even then, I'm not doing that today. Today, I, I don't know what I'm... Excuse me, I don't know what I'm doing today. But uh, it won't involve you guys, so I'm just going to say goodbye now. And next time I stream, it will be something brand new. Something from the Swiss lock. I'm currently thinking about Black Mesa, which is the Half-Life remake. Um, What else? Pony Island. I want to check that out. Mm. Yeah, those are the games that are sticking out to me the most right now. So it'll probably be, it'll pro probably be one of those two. So expect that. Um, and for now, I guess we'll say goodbye. So see ya maybe tomorrow, maybe the day after, something like that. And thanks for coming. Bye-bye. I, I promise I'll brush up on my free thinking. Turn it.